this is our book tour. Coming to our circle for pictures. The name of our circle is Skyful Phoenix. In the formation is being taken in this report. There are total seven papers in our group. Every eight is voting and every qualification is ready. Meeting time period is 45 minutes and meeting location is our school hall. Now I'd like to I'd like to give an introduction of our group papers. The leader of our group is me myself, Christina Sudhi. Namaskar. The, the deputy leader is Sunday Scottie. Namaskar everyone. The secretary is Dolce Lama. Namaskar everyone. And the members are Pransa Kaka. Namaskar everyone. Manila Vizanganda. Namaskar everyone. Amit Thapa. Namaskar everyone. And Asika Yukari. Namaskar everyone. And the facilitator of our group is Sadhana Kesikas. Thank you. Now for further information, I'd like to hand over my position to Mr. Thank you, Ms. Christina. So as you all can see here, this is the logo of our circle. Inside full Phoenix. Why does this name and logo suit us? The name. Inside full Phoenix and the presented logo has been chosen by our circle because it symbolizes wisdom, rebirth, and transformation. Like the mythical Phoenix rises from the ashes, it represents the ability to gain deep understanding and insight through challenges. We want to be stronger about the resistance. It's a name that conveys resilience and it's a logo that symbolizes clarity and growth. Now, over to you, Ms. Prenza. Thank you, Mr. Abe. Now, let's move towards the objective of our circle. We, the Central Phoenix, have discussed and prepared some of the objectives here. They are to enhance the quality of students, to make the students good and smart, to make them able to fight against global challenges, and so on. Now, I'd like to hand on my position to Ms. Monica. Now, let's go through the milestone chart. So, this is the chart that illustrates the goals we, inside Full Phoenix, have been doing since the first day of our circle formation. At the first week of semester, we formed our circle, named it, and we also prepared our circle logo. Similarly, in the preceding week of semester, we brainstormed our problem. Moreover, we identified our major problem on the first week of Asar and in preceding two weeks of same month, we collected our data. In the upcoming week of Shran and Bhadra, we planned, analyzed and started implementing. Since the second week of Bhadra, we observed our final results and started practicing. Now let's move toward methodology. In order to perceive our final results, including solution measures, we, the inside whole Phoenix, gathered and analyzed data from gathered and analyzed data from reliable sources to validate our findings. We have distributed the sheet of paper to the students of our school from grade six to ten in order to address the problem that the students have faced, along with causes and effects to evaluate evaluate the potential impact in our case study completion. Thank you. Now over to you, Mr. Tote. Thank you, Ms. Bandida. We are very to that we inside school finish and do to complete our case study presentation, such as bar graph, pie chart, parental diagram, Isitawa diagram, also known as Pisport. Why, why analysis, five top group, one app diagram, PDCA cycle, and prioritization table. Now I would like to hand over my position to Let's move towards our brainstorming. We, the inside school Phoenix, brainstorm all the problems of our of our school that the students face. They are as follows: bad handwriting, student using vulgar words, noisy environment, and many more. Likewise, there are more problems. They, they are becoming barrier between the students and proper education. They are as follows: lack of counseling, low energy students, absence, absence of morality, and rest of others you can observe in, observe in slide. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Asika. So let's move towards the stratification of problems. Where we have stratified our brainstorming problems into three categories. Because of some of them are bad handwriting, silence and nervousness, lack of enthusiasm, lack of people, and other many more you can observe in our slide. Now over to you, Ms. Christina. Thank you, Mr. Sandes. So now, let's move towards the peer ranking table. So this is the peer ranking table which we use to find out our basic problems. This table indicates the work that I did in order to help my circle find out our major problem. So now, let's move towards the prioritization table. This slide indicates that each goal that each member did in our 10 major
major problems that at last we come to know that overuse of social media is our major problem securing 54 votes. What is social media? Social media. Let's imagine a world where information travels across the globe in an instant, where a single post can spark a movement, where communities can be built without any geographical bounds. This world is our reality, the world of social media. What is social media? Social media is the vibrant, interconnected tapestry of our digital lives, where ideas and emotions flow freely across borders, sparking global conversations, and connecting people in ways once unimaginable. It's a dynamic platform where creativity meets communication and with individuals and communities to share their stories, inspire moments, and inspire moments and build meaningful relationships, transcending the limitations of time and space. Whether it's through a tweet, a post, or a viral video, social media amplifies voices, fosters innovations, and motivates a sense of belonging in our increasingly digital world. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Christina. So, now to start our initial survey with the members of Inside from Phoenix, we went to the different classes of our school and asked the students, how much control does social media have over you? Take a moment to think. Are you still truly really living in the real world? Then, as far as their response, we constructed our initial paragraph to our initial observation we come to know. Out of 30 students in class, 7 23 are over users and 7 are users. Likewise, out of 23 students in class, 18 are over users and 5 are users. Similarly, like, similarly out of 26 students in class 9, 22 are over users and 4 are, 4 are users. Last but not the least, out of 24 students in class 10, 17 are over users and 7 are users. So these are some photos that we have took in our initial observation. Now over to you, Ms. Tenza. It is said that progress is made in peace is not in perfection. Thank you, Ms. Shami. This is the part that we, the Sacred Phoenix, have created uh, to show the expected data. Uh, of class 7, the users are rocketed to 26 and the, the number of over users are decreased to 4 and others you can see in the slide. Now, I'd like to hand over my question to Mr. Saunders. Thank you, Mr. Pensa. So now let's move towards what is actually meant by the overuse of social media. Social media can become a double sword by overuse. Overuse of social media or government is spending too much time on online platforms, starts to disturb our daily life, which leads us to the problem such as increased anxiety and depression, decreased productivity, and strained real life relationships. Constant exposure to the curated content may also blur the line between reality and virtual life, making it harder to maintain a healthy balance and focus on what's truly important. Now over to you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sandesh. So let's move to us to the another topic: nature of overuse of social media. Instant gratification, endless scrolling, comparing trap, and rest of the other you can also in the slides. Now over to you, Ms. Manila. Thank you, Mr. Ami. Now let's move towards the causes of overuse of social media. We have in this state the causes of major problems and a great stratified in erratic, period and serious respectively. First, erratic causes. One, boredom and escapism. Two, lack of proper planning. And all that you can see in this slide. Second, period causes. One, FOMO, fear of missing out. Two, validation and social approval. And all that you can see in this slide. And last one is serial causes. One, addictive design. Two, algorithm manipulation. And all that you can see in this slide. Thank you. Now over to you, Ms. Benza. Thank you, Ms. Manila. Likewise, the, likewise the causes, we have spent five efforts in early, early, and serial. In any way, there are some disruption, addiction, and dependency, and there's some causes you can see in this slide. And in real I spend and discomfort, sedimentary lifestyle, and racial problems. And in serial there is this increased exposure to misinformation, conflict, and cyberbullying, and rest of others you can observe in the slide. Now, I like to hand over my place to Mr. Goldberg. Thank you, Mr. Goldberg. This is better as QC tool. It's a Kappa diagram. You can buy Dr. Kia with the Kappa. It is also known as Peaceful Diagram. To complete our Peaceful Diagram, we, the member of Insightful Phoenix, 
selling it the fun and effects of our major problem on any mostly as per our necessary. Our major problem is overuse of social media. Its first cause is lack of proper planning. Its third cause is procrastination and poor time management. Likewise, our second cause is 24 7 accessibility. Its third cause is global connectivity and instant notification. Now, let's move towards the effect of our major problem. First effect is sedentary lifestyle. Its third cause is standard screen time and disruption of routine. Our second effect is increased loneliness. Its top effects are FOMO, fear of losing out, and virtual connection. Now I would like to pass my position to Ms. Christina. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. Now let's move towards root cause analysis of viral analysis. Now I guess boredom and escapism. Why? Quick gratification. Why? Immediate rewards. Why? Lack of proper planning. Why? Lack of self boundaries. Why? Ineffective prioritization. Why? Our root causes lack of awareness on the benefits of planning. Likewise, poor time, poor time management. Why? Procrastination. Why? Unclear goals. Why? Disorganization. Why? And our root cause is overcoming. Similarly, here is another viral analysis. Why? Peer pressure as a social connection. Why? Over-influence. Why? FOMO. Why? Our root cause is lack of participation. Likewise, 24-7 accessibility. Why? Global connectivity. Why? Instant notification. Why? Our root cause is peer pressure. Likewise, habitual use. Why? Social validation. Why? Virtual relationship. Why? Our root cause is loneliness or isolation. Thank you. Now I'd like to hand over my question to Ms. Thank you, Ms. Christina. Let's talk about major causes to tackle. They are as follows: over stress, lack of awareness on the benefits of planning, over commitment, and more uh, and many more. I like to hand over my position to Mr. Saunders. Thank you, Ms. Asika. So here are the six major causes that we the insightful Phoenix have found out. To found out the one major cause among these six, we all have worked here. And in result, we found out that lack of proper planning is our first major cause to tackle. We have not only found out the only one major cause, and we, we have also ranked it likewise. First rank is secured by proper, lack of proper planning, 37 votes. Second rank is secured by lack of participation in 22 votes and other rest you can see in the slide. So, so this is the Pareto table that is used by us, the member of the to Phoenix, to make the Pareto diagram, which includes causes, frequency, cumulative frequency, and cumulative percent. So this is the Pareto diagram where line represents the cumulative frequency and bar represents the frequency. Thank you. Now, over to you, Ms. Christina. The full form of PDC is plan, do, check, and act. PDC was discovered by Walter A. Shiva at step one. With the insightful Phoenix, with the insightful Phoenix, brainstormed the solution basis at step two. We also discovered some counter measures to find out how to apply the solution basis at step three. We applied the solution basis to the overusers of social media to help them balance between social media and academic performance. We check if the solutions work or not by going to various classes about school. At step 5, we apply the solution to the overusers of social media again. And finally, at step 6, we replan the solution measures. So, here are some proper ways of using social media. Think before you post. Promote positive content. Verify information. And the rest of it you can see in this slide. Countermeasures. The decided countermeasures to solve our problem are as follows. Organized workshops to educate students about the impact of excessive social media use on their mental health and academic performance. 
teach students about the responsible use of social media, emphasizing the importance of setting boundaries and understanding how algorithms affect their behavior, and so on. Out of all these number majors, we have selected two major topics. They are as follows. The first one is to organize workshops to educate students about the impact of excessive social media use on their mental health and academic performance. The second one is to educate parents on the use of parental controls and the importance of setting boundaries for their children's social media use. Now, let's move towards five of the knowledge. Our first countermeasure is lack of organized workshops. What? Organized effective workshops. Why? To educate students. Who? The students. Where? In school. Where? Before school, after How? school, and personal hours. And How? personal hours. How? By setting clear goals about the impact of excessive social media use on their mental health and academic problems. Similarly, our second countermeasure is educate parents. So in order to help our open users student, student, we have conducted different kinds of programs under our school policies. In phase one, we gather the students of grades 7, 8, 9 and 10 and, to, and provide them various ideas about the time management skills and the path to set clear goals that make profound effect on them, making them easier to focus on their academic performance. In phase two, at first, we, the member of insightful Phoenix, have requested to our administrative team to gather parents of our students and organize a program about parental control towards children in terms of use of social media. Thank you. Now, I would like to pass my position to Mr. Amit. Thank you, Mr. Sandesh. Now, we, the, inside, we, the members of Insightful Phoenix, are going to use the different classes of our school and ask the question, how much control does social media have over you? Take a moment to think. Are you still truly living in the real world? Then we also created our paragraph where you can see the number of over users is highly decreased as the number of users is highly increased. Out of 30 students in class 7, 24 are users and 6 are users, over users. And rest of the other you can see in the slide. So, we also did a comparison between initial and final observation. And we also did a comparison between initial and expected data which you can observe in the slide. Now, over to you, Mr. Dorji. Thank you, Mr. Amin. We have completed our project. Three, the Insightful Phoenix Circle will continue this type of program in our upcoming phase two. We will hope that our school will organize similar type of program and effective class to make students set your future goals by removing the thought over using of social media and by making them able to set their able to prepare way. Now, let's move to us the benefit of case study. Benefits are learn to collaborate and cooperate with circle members. And another one is gain the knowledge to activate your competence and address of other you can see in the slide. Now, I would like to hand over my position to Mr. Sunday. Thank you, Mr. Doge. So, in conclusion, our school has provided us a golden opportunity to identify the major problems that a student faces, causes, its effect, along with its solution method in the form of case study presentation. We are very grateful because we got a valuable chance to express, express our views in front of this large number of people. Due to this study, we got a beautiful chance to enhance our quality as well as we learn how to solve as a good, good and smart student in society, which will surely be beneficial in coming days. So, here are some of the obstacles that is faced by us when insightful feeling during our case study. Lack of proper time, academic pressure, and yes, rest you can also in the slide. So now, acknowledgement. Our heartfelt thanks 
going to our facilitator, all the administrative team, all the teachers for their instruction and support. And we would also like to thank all of the students of grades 7, 8, 9, 10 for their well cooperation in order to complete our case history presentation. Without your positive participation, our case history presentation will not have been possible. Lastly, our sincere thanks goes to all of the viewers presented here. Thank you. So let's make a promise together. All of you, I sincerely request you to stand on your own place. Please. And follow me. We will express the impress the potential of potential of social media. Social media to connect. To connect. Inspire, inspire and uplift. And uplift. We promise. We promise to use the to use the social media. Social media responsibly. Responsibly to share knowledge. To share knowledge. Spread positivity. Spread positivity and to build and to build authentic relationships. Authentic relationships together. Together. Let's create a digital space. Let's create a digital space where where. Empathy, respect, respect, and, and creativity side, creativity side, making a positive impact, making a positive impact on our communities, on our communities, and beyond, and beyond. Thank you, everyone. That was our presentation. I hope you all have enjoyed it. So at last, if you have any queries or feedback, please let us know. I think not.